Hey guys, Blake and Jeff here. I'm Blake, he's Jeff, and today we are finally wrapping up oh, thank God. our Twilight Saga series of videos with the Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 1 and 2. <laughs> So before we get into our uh, our thoughts on the movies and then our reviews and all that, we of course have to consult the film gods over at the internetmoviedatabase.com and see what they thought these movies were about. I'm going to read both of them. So here's part one. This is what IMDb thought the movie was about. Okay. The Quillet, Quillettes, Quillutes? I don't, I don't know. Who cares? I watched both these movies, I can't tell you. The Quillutes close in on an expecting... Excuse me. Close in on expecting parents Edward and Bella, whose unborn child poses a threat to the wolf pack and the townspeople of Forks. Yeah. So that was part one. And then part two, after the birth of Renesme slash Nessie, the Cullens gather other vampire clans in order to protect this child, or in order to protect the child from a false allegation that puts the family in front of the Volturi. Uh, both movies directed by Bill Condon, starring all the fucking people from all the previous ones, yeah. as well as some new faces like uh, new people: Lee Rami Pace, Malik, Rami Malik. Uh, we got Maggie Grace. Maggie Grace. Uh, we got, of course, Renesmee, played by Mackenzie Foy. Yeah. Well, Jeff, let's just dive right in. Okay. Spoilers. Spoilers for all the Twilight, the whole saga, the whole saga. What did you think? Let's start with part one. Okay, part one. Because that mm. makes the most sense to me. Rewind my mind. Does that got make sense it. to you? Does that make sense to me? Do we start with part one, and then we'll get to part two? Well, okay. Because we've got to rate and review each of them. Sure, sure. Do we have to do that? We have to because of the letterbox. The Fuck, way, that's yeah. true. They are broken up. Okay. Uh, part one, what did you think of that movie? I hated Lo it. Oh! Hated it. Um, wow. Yeah, I mean, God, man. Number one, they really didn't need to be two movies, guys. No, There's not enough no, for sir. either one of these to be its own standalone movie. Yeah. So they had to pad it with a lot of like a lot of long takes of people walking. Yeah, this was a thing during that time. We yeah. had uh, Harry Potter did it. I think yeah. Divergent or Hunger Games. I think didn't the Hunger, Hunger Games, Games did, it? did it? Mockingjay was part one and part two. Yeah, that was like a thing. It was like okay, we have these like these young adult. Yeah. These uh these fantasy books or whatever that we're making into movies, we always end with them being part one and part two. It worked for Harry Potter. Why shouldn't it work for everybody else? Was the mentality. Sure. I, I get it, I guess. But from a, from a from a monetary standpoint, I understand. From a monetary standpoint, yeah, but it made sense with Harry Potter because that was a massive book. It was very big. It's a big uh, book. How big was this book? I don't remember. Seven hundred and fifty six S pages. That's massive. That's actually pretty big. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. Okay. But when it's when it's when it's about nothing... Yeah, I was going to say, just because it has a lot of pages doesn't mean that it has a substantial amount of ideas. How big was the font? I think you could have done one, like, two and a half hour movie. Yeah, so here's the problem. Part one was all about Bella being pregnant. Yes. Yeah. All of it. Well, the lead up to it. It was all about the wedding. Wedding? Honeymoon. Bed-breaking sex. Yeah, which, I wish, yeah. Okay, I like. okay. We like ye. Uh, uh, and don't, that, don't do that voice, please. What voice? Say me like ye again. Me like ye? Yeah, that voice. That's like, that's a voice? Yeah. You only do it on me like ye. No. Like, say a sentence and throw me like ye in the middle of it and see what happens. Well, give me a sentence to say, I don't know. Uh, say rubber baby buggy bumpers. R rubber baby buggy, me like ye bumpers. I'm gonna have to play this back for you. <laughs> I don't hear it. Yeah. All I can do is hear it. <laughs> well, I'm from California, so maybe that's Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh and then yeah, then and then fucking half the movie is her beginning. And then the rest of it is, yeah, she's it, pregnant and then dying for yeah, the whole like, rest of the movie. It's half of it's like I'm watching The Passion of the Christ again. It was just like pure torture. Yeah, it was a weird thing, because yeah, again, like the first half of the movie, because it's wedding, it's honeymoon, it's sex, and then it's rom-com, we can't really have sex because Edward, as a vampire and she as a human, you know, 
he might kill her during the act. Okay, so hold on. We need to know. We need to stop it right now. Okay. And we need to discuss. Okay. Because I don't fully understand what that means. When he said, when, because yes, it's brought up multiple times. Yeah. I'll kill you if we do this. Okay, so. Break it down for me. Tell me exactly what's going to kill her. I, I assume just the, like, just his force. Because he will, like, he was clamping down on her and it left bruises on her. But he doesn't have to do that. He could, he could put his hands on the bed. I, that Dude, don't ask me. I wondered the entire time, why doesn't, she, why just doesn't she just get on fucking top and he just, like, keeps his hands down? He's down. Yeah, he's just, he's just laying down. Yeah! In a normal in a normal man position. She gets on. <sighs> reverse cowgirl. Yeah, well, of course. Why not? <laughs> I mean, you don't want to stare at her face the whole time. You want to see that peach. Sure. So she gets on reverse cowgirl. I oh, don't know. She have much of a peach. I don't know. No, not really. She seems like she doesn't really have much going on, curve wise. I'm not gonna body She's shame. Kind of I'm not. I'm not gonna body shame. I mean, I'm gonna body shame. <laughs> okay, I, I, she's just. I don't. I don't know. She's just not hot. Wow. She can be okay. She can be kind of cute. But not hot. Was she hotter in part two? Yeah. She was. The eyes. Yeah, the eyes did it, for yeah. sure. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but that's the implication. The implication is... I thought the implication... Too much force. I thought the implication was that... Because, like, they can control their strength. Sure. I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't hurt her when he fucking hugs her and kisses her. Sure. Carries her, whatever, you know. Right. So I thought the implication was that, like, maybe they could main, he could maintain that. Okay. But it was, it's, it's when he, okay, but what do you think happens then? It's so powerful. The sperm like, is not what kills her. Dude. It's like putting a fire hose no. this in is there not, and then turning it on. No. That's what I thought. If anything, what I, was, I was, my assumption would be if it's not just, because yes, he could control it. He could not like grab onto her mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But my I would think when he orgasms, he can't control it anymore, and he will just crush her. But again, why is he grabbing her so much? He doesn't have to. I think that's how vampires have sex. Although, how would he know? He was a virgin. That's what I'm saying. This fool has no... Maybe that's the problem. He doesn't know what he's doing. He has no clue. Apparently, the man's never watched porn in his life, either. Yeah. 100 years and (laughs) never watched porn. (laughs) Are you kidding me? Insane. Did they have? Did he have a computer? Once again, least passing human I have ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I don't think he had a computer. I think yeah. he just had a piano. That's wild. Yeah. Wow. Huh. Yeah. I I don't know. Uh, maybe he's set in his ways. I mean, well, we know that he's you like, know he's like religious and exactly. So maybe he. No, I'm saying maybe he's like a Luddite. He like sticks to the old ways of doing things. Like when he has math, he pulls out the abacus. Yeah. He pulls out a slide rule. Yeah. Fuck calculators. That's don't, the devil's, don't need devil's toy. Yeah. Well, I've always believed that too. Sure. Yeah. It's a devil's instrument. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if my soul is going into the calculator. That's what I'm pretty sure when I'm... Obviously it is. Yeah. Well, fuck yeah. it. That's why I don't do cameras either. I don't let anybody take pictures or video. Or video, ever. Ever. Exactly. Because it captures a part of your soul. I'm part Native American. We believe that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That that all makes sense to me, then. Okay. Uh, Anyway. My question was, how did Jacob know... That they fuck? That he was going to kill her. Yeah. How does he know? Like, that was his first thing. Yeah. Was like, you're, you're not going to turn her? You're going to kill her! You'll kill her! <laughs> like, it's like, whoa, slow your roll, Which, dude. <laughs> we got another nice guy moment from Jacob. We did. When he grabbed her and he's like, I'm not going to let you go! Yeah. Whoa, buddy. Came on a little strong. I mean, we'll get to Jacob coming we'll on strong. We'll get to strong. Jacob coming on strong real quick. Yeah, guys. yeah, yeah. There were some Ooh. problems. How did you feel about the CGI of Bella... You know, losing weight and becoming... I actually thought that was pretty decent. 
It was pretty decent. That wasn't bad. It reminded me of uh, when, uh, spoilers for Avengers Endgame, when Tony Stark yeah, 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 yeah. comes back from space, yeah, and, he's from all, space yeah, yeah. and he's all emaciated. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very similar. I yeah. agree. And they did a pretty good job of that. Not bad. Now, CGI, mm. when all of the wolves are fighting all of the Cullens in front of the house, mm. not so good. Never so good. Real bad, guys. Yeah. And you would think after, this is the, well, the fourth and the fifth movie, you would think after the fourth and the fifth movie, they would have gotten better at making people look uh, good when they're running really fast. Yeah. No, they did not. It looks insane. It looks worse. It looks worse. It looks like the, like, it looks like that effect when yeah. Bradley Cooper in, like, uh, fucking... I was going to say it looks like... <laughs> Limitless? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I had to say was, hey, give me that pill. Give me that pill. In Limitless, when he's like, yeah. his brain is going through fucking... I was going to say it looks like the cheapo version of when Quicksilver yes. runs in the X-Men I, movies. I was about to say The Flash and the Justice League. Yeah. 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 Fuck. Yeah. It looks so bad. So terrible. And like part two, I mean, well, okay, we're still on part one. Okay. We got we to focus on part one. Okay, okay, okay. But there's so much to talk about in part two. There is. Oh, there's a lot, yeah. Part one, she's prego. Yeah. They're freaking out. Vampires and humans don't have children. Apparently it's never happened. Apparently it's never happened. Except Which, it has. Yeah, except it has uh, just in the jungles of Brazil. Yeah, it's been kept a secret from... For, for 150 years. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, that's what I'm saying. That, that's so. It's weird. It's very weird, right? Like in the entire history, the known history. Yeah. Never happened. Really? Yet they have like, like books and legends about like immortal children, and like. Oh yeah, we got another fantastic researching montage. I mean, hearkening back to that first movie. God damn, like, it, it was all fucking montages in these two movies. Yeah. <laughs> Especially yeah, part true. two. Like, that's true. There were a lot. Oh, man. Mm. I just, I, I don't... And then I, I had a big problem with part one when... I mean, I, we, we knew this part was... We knew it was coming. We knew she was going to be turned into a vampire or yeah. whatever. And that the wedding was pretty much their last day with their family and everything. Yeah. But, man, the abruptness in which she just sort of says, like, all right, like, fuck, all, fuck y'all later. Like, that's it. That's the last time you're going to see your dad and your mom. Yeah. Yeah, she knows it, too. And she looks at him, and she just goes, bye. Like, I, she's like, I love you, and then she goes... Well, because she had to play it up like, you know, she was yeah. going to see him in a week or two. Yeah, see you in a week or two, and like, bye, Charlie. It's not like the end of the world, but, you know. How did you feel about the wedding? I guess let's, let's you know, let's talk about that. How did you feel about all those speeches that were given? Yeah, I mean... Fucking corny as ridiculous. shit. Ridiculous... Yeah, and again, like just didn't need to make an Anna Kendrick seem like a, even more of a bitch. Yeah, dude, like like really like leaning into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, you know, she's no valedictorian or anything. But, Not you know, captain of the volleyball team, or you know, like I am. But I'm you just know, kidding, you just know, kidding. just kidding, just kidding. Fucking terrible, Fuck, man. All of that seemed like a deleted scene. Yeah, it should have been a deleted it's, scene. Yeah, again, that shit you could have trimmed. We could have trimmed. All of that. The 15 minutes it took her to walk down the aisle. That took a long time. But it was beautiful. Dude, but it took forever. But it was beautiful. Beautiful, Jeff. but still. It was beautiful. I'm all for it. I, I'm, I'm all for a very long wedding walk. Crazy rich Asian style. Flood the floor. Sure. Slowly, little firefly lanterns and shit. I sure. love it. And then if we trimmed off some of the fucking pregnancy and her dying and shit. Yeah, I mean, it, it did go. Again, like I said, padding. They mm -hmm. were just padding it out, padding it out, padding it out. Yeah, yeah. Just to get to that two-hour runtime. God damn. <sighs> we just needed one movie. Yeah. Wedding at the beginning, gives birth immediately afterwards. <laughs> you do a time jump. You do a card. 
Okay. You, know, you do a time jump, whatever. It's accelerated anyway. Yeah, it's very accelerated, but. Yeah. So then we just get to the birth part and then we get to her turning. Yeah, I agree. That's the whole, that, that's part one. I mean, I, I don't know how to break down part one because nothing happens. I know. I know. Well, again, that the beginning half of a book is not going to give you a full story. I just don't, I don't <laughs> understand why they made it. Money. I mean, I'm looking at it right here. Part one, 45 on Meta, Metascore, Metacritic. Yeah. Yeah, I fucking know. four point nine on rock, on the uh, IMDb. Yeah. Oof. Well, that's a, I mean that that's all of Breaking Dawn Part One is just her being sick and and Edward being a little bitch about it. Yeah. Uh, and then Jacob being aggressive like always. Very aggressive. And then she gives birth. We think she's dead. Edward bites her all over the place. Yeah. A lot. Well, he has to inject his venom Which that was into a, her. Let's and let's be honest. Let's can we be honest for a second? Can we? This is a safe space. Did you see what's inside that vial? Yeah. That's bad, right? Come on. His I mean, venom. I don't. It was it was too silvery though. Sure, but that might just be. But vampire. maybe the sunlight just hit it. Yeah, so maybe that's just vampires. Maybe. Just I don't know. We haven't seen that yet, so we don't know. I guess we'll never will. We never will. <sighs> but let's be honest. Something was something suspicious was in that. Was in that syringe. I don't know. That's all I'm going to say. We're going to move on. Jeff, part one, let's call it a wrap. Okay. What score are you going to give part one? Zero to five stars. Classic rating system. Half stars are allowed. I am going to give this movie... Wait. Okay. Stop. Okay. This may change your mind. Do you want to know what the top 10 films of 2011 were? Okay, sure. Number 10, Cars 2. Mm. Number 9, The Smurfs. Oh, fuck. Number 8, The Hangover Part 2. Uh, okay. Number 7, Fast Five. Nice. Number 6, Kung Fu Panda 2. Eh. Number 5, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Yes. Well, not so quick. Number 4. The Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 1. I mean, it doesn't surprise me. Better than Ghost Protocol. No, it definitely was not. It just made more money. But that means better in my opinion. No, that, that it means does not. Better. No. You know what's even better than that? Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. On Stranger Tides? Fuck no. Was that four? Yes. Oh. That's the one we went fuck. and saw. Oh, God. That was number, terrible. Number two, redeeming it a little bit here, Transformers Dark of the Moon. Okay. Pretty, I actually like that Pretty one. damn good movie. And number one with a bullet, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Yeah. So those are the top films of 2011 when Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 1 came out. Now, give your score. Zero to five stars. One and a half. Okay. One and a half stars. What are you going to give it? Well, it was pointless. Yes. Didn't need to be made. Right. Uh, it didn't do anything it was boring yeah uh i'm gonna be brutal okay half a star wow okay it's fucking trash it's horrible it's pointless okay uh even if even if you didn't make this movie at all and we just got part two yeah i think you'd be able to follow along just fine yeah, if they did a, have you skipped this movie completely? And they literally say in, in part two of the beginning, like the after, very beginning, after she's narrating, she's like, yeah, after Edward say, and I got and married. They'd, they'd have to say something about, you know, after the wedding. Yeah, after the wedding, I gave, you know, after the wedding, we had our daughter, Renesmee. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. You literally say it in the fucking sentence. Maybe. Possibly, yeah, possibly. Pointless movie, half a star. Okay, that's brutal. It's brutal, but... But hey, you know what? I gotta be honest. Yeah. Uh, part two. Okay. Let's dive into this one. What'd you think? <sighs> Again, I hated it. I just, I hate it. I hate the whole series. I hate the whole series too, but how do you feel about how this wrapped up the entire series? Um, I hate it. Hmm. I don't, they literally call it the Twilight Saga, mm. 
And I feel like almost nothing happened in the entire fucking thing. Absolutely nothing happened. Except that a baby was born. A baby was born and they killed Victoria. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's not a saga. No, that's nothing. Star Wars is a saga. Wow. Let's not get carried away. A lot of stuff happened in that in those movies. Yeah, a few things happened. A few things happened. Uh, there was a something about trade routes or whatever. A dispute. Well, that's in one of them, but... Oh, I thought those were the whole thing. No, the others are about a lot of other stuff. They're about space wizards with laser swords. Yeah. That sounds pretty cool. I know. We should watch that. We should watch that. <laughs> Maybe we will. No, we're not going to watch it yet. Uh, um, okay. I, yeah, I'm just saying, I, I don't understand. How can people like this? Yeah. How can people honestly sit there and say to themselves, this, I want to watch this again? Oh, you know what's sad? Like, cause like I have I have movies that are not fucking cinematic masterpieces. Sure, there are things that like I really enjoy that I can watch multiple times. Give at least one example. Harry Potter. No, Harry Potter is good. Harry Potter is good, but it's not. Again, we're not talking about cinematic masterpieces on the level of Akira Kurosawa and shit like that. Well, no. Sure. But... I, I'm just saying for all the people who are gonna fucking argue about you okay. know what a masterpiece is and what's worthy of rewatching a million times or whatever. Sure. Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, The Matrix, I can rewatch those a bunch. Sure. And I love them. I enjoy them. Yeah. There are people in this fucking world who watch the Twilight Saga the same way I watch That's Lord what I'm of the saying. Rings. I don't understand. That I don't blows my fucking mind. How does this speak to you? I'm honestly asking. It, it like it lacks all human emotion from all characters, even the human ones. Yeah. So I'm like, how do you connect in any Except way to Charlie. any of these? Charlie's the only one. Sure, but you'd have to be a dad. Yeah, you'd have to be a sheriff. Yeah, because that's what his whole thing is about. His whole vibe is like, I'm a yeah, sheriff it's, dad. It's like authority. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. So like, yes, if you're that, it speaks to you. Or if you if you have desires to be like that, or sure. you know, whatever. That speaks to you. Every other character, I mean, like, you can't identify with Bella, the only human character, because she doesn't act like a fucking human. No. You can't identify with any of the vampires. No. None of the werewolves. No. Unless you're Native American. Sure, I'll give you that. I just don't understand, like, what, like, what, I don't understand what you see in this saga. Yeah. That, like, makes you, that makes you feel anything other than... Perversion. Perversion. Like, it makes me feel perverted. Hmm. Okay. And we'll get we'll get to why. Well, sure. There's a big there's a big reason. Sure. But the rest of it too, like just the romance like in general, because the whole story is about the romance. Of course. But the romance feels nasty. It feels yeah. Well, we've talked about it the entire series. It's problematic from all sorts of different angles. Yeah, it's disgusting. <sighs> That's what I mean. I'm like, I, I feel like a fucking pervert watching these movies. Like, I feel worse watching this than, like, porn. I'd rather watch porn than this. I'd rather tell people I watch porn. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I would never rather... admit, yeah. except that I'm doing it to, no. you know. But that's, this is the job. This is um, the job. We wouldn't watch these no. on our own. Of course not. Although I think I've seen, I've seen one or two. Well, I saw one of them on my own. Well, I saw two of them. I well, I was dragged to the theater to go see one. So. I didn't. I watched it because they were on Amazon. Oh. And I was like, I want to see what all the hype's about. Yeah. And now I've watched all of them, and I... Still want to see what all the fucking hype's about. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I just don't get it. I, there are no likable characters. There's nothing fucking happens. There's it's it's all bad acting. It's bad writing. Yeah. And I mean, like, I, I hate to shit on. I and like again, I've, I haven't read the books. I don't know if 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 Stephanie Meyer's a, a good writer or not. Like, I don't know if the books are are different. If they're can't imagine. I don't know. And I and I hate to shit on writers, or whatever. But like, sure. I don't, the writing is offensive to me. Like, it's, it's just so bad. Yeah, it is very bad. I agree with that. Oh, man. <sighs> I don't know. Hmm. Um, can we talk about um, what a total waste it is to have Bill Condon direct these movies? Yeah. Just a fucking... Why? Why? Number one, why'd you ask him? Number two, why'd you do it? That, I mean, that's on him. Of course it is. Why? Why? Bill, why? I don't understand. Well, what was he doing before? He made some good movies, dude. Was, was he having a bit of a slump? Is that what I was mean, going on? He might have been. I mean, he had just come off of Dreamgirls, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. So, no, running pretty high. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Then he does these. <sighs> then he does Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Then he did The Good Liar. Yeah, which he said, because I read a thing about it, because I was looking up, we have to talk about the bad CGI for the baby. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's bad. It's bad, but I, I think the reason they did it is because they were trying to make it look like the two of them. They, like, they, they took Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson's faces and they came up with like sure. a, a f- deep fake, one of those little... Okay, so I looked it up. Yeah, yeah. And the reason that they used it was because they actually made an animatronic baby. And yes, they did want to try and make it look close to them so it looked like it could actually be their spawn. But why bother? Because it was only in it for two seconds. I agree. They made an animatronic one Mm. that creeped everyone out. So their backup plan was to do a fully CGI'd baby. (sighs) Fuck. Just get a baby. Yeah, just get a fucking baby. Just get a baby. Who fucking cares? That's so weird. It's a baby. Okay, so the other reason that they said that they wanted to do, that they were doing it this way, was because they had, they wanted to find a visual way to show that not only was the baby growing at an exponential rate, but was actually evolving and, like, was showing intelligence. And I was like, how did that show intelligence, (laughs) dude? That did not look like intelligence to me. (laughs) That just looked fucking creepy. Yeah. I, I, I'm i so, like, it was so bad. I mean, everyone being against the against that child existing, wanting to kill it and shit, yeah. I was like, I, I agree. As soon as I saw it, I said, yes, kill that fucking child. Kill it immediately. <sighs> then it starts to grow up a little bit. Yeah. You know, who, you know who didn't say kill it? Yeah. Jacob. Mr. Nice Guy himself. Yeah. The fucking nasty pedophile pervert. What? Imprints on... Stop Re- it. Stop it. Imprints on Renesme. Yes. And, like, immediately is just a creeper. Sure. I mean, but again, I love how he goes to... He goes to pains to mm. explain mm-hmm. that he... It's not a sexual thing. It's a protective, brotherly kind of thing. That's straight out of the pedophile's handbook. Exactly, because immediately at the end of the movie, he's already asking Edward if he should start calling him dad. Did he say dad or daddy? Dad. Okay, he did say dad. He said dad. He didn't say dad. There's part of me, I know, sometimes I I think I hear things. Yeah, I think you project. That's okay. That was me in the moment. That was me in the moment wanting to call Edward Daddy. Sure, of and, just, and I heard it. And it's like, I get I, it. But, but that, hey, that's the, come on. But how did you like? Because we have to talk about it. Yeah. How did you like that explosion of anger from Bella when she found out that Jacob yeah. calls her daughter Nessie, and she says, "You named him after the Loch Ness monster." Yeah, it was a weird thing to get that angry about. Very weird. But I, I just assumed emotions are already running high for her. Also, Bella, baby sweetie doll. Yeah. It, it's not named after the... He didn't nickname her after the Loch Ness Monster. Right. The name that you came up for your own daughter is so stupid that no yeah. one wants to say it out loud. They would. They prefer Nessie. They prefer Nessie or Nezzy or whatever. Yeah. That's I, what it is. It's not, a, not the Loch Ness Monster. Yeah, I don't think he even thought of the Loch Ness Monster. Although, interesting. Vampires and werewolves. Yeah. Does the Loch Ness Monster exist in this world? Probably. We have to assume, right? We'd have to, we have to assume everything, everything exists. Fairies, goblins. Anything that is a fairy tale or is a horror story or any of the legends, they're all true in this world. Yeah. So, yeah. It, it's got to be true. Hmm. Okay. But no, I don't think he, again, I don't think he thought of the Loch Ness Monster and was like, Nessie! I got it. I'm going to call the girl that I, I want to have sex with Nessie. Well, again, let's not say he wants to have sex with her yet. He does, though. He wants to have sex with her in seven years. Sure. When she has reached maturity, but she's still only seven years chronologically. <laughs> Problematic. <laughs> Dude, this whole movie's pretty, yes, the whole series 
is fucking disgusting. It's about older men. Although I guess it. Well, here, here's a question for no, you. Does she have a birth certificate? No. And here's the other thing. It's it's about old. It's about old, powerful, physically powerful, statusly powerful, yeah, financially yeah. powerful men sure, sure. preying on underage girls. The, That's what this whole fucking saga is about. It's the Hollywood patriarchy. And yep. And it's telling you this is awesome. Not only is it awesome, women, girls watching this, you should be fucking in love with this idea. Oh, yeah, for sure. You should be in love with the idea of a fucking creeper with a pale fucking Tim Burton-esque Johnny Depp-looking face yeah. creeping into the, your room in the middle of the night, uninvited. Just to watch you sleep. Just to watch you sleep. That should turn, that should you, turn you on. on. You know what else should turn you on? This hot dude over here never wears a t-shirt, right? Right. He's been dreaming about fucking you since you came out of the womb. Yes. He immediately went, oh shit. I mean, he was there. He had a moment, he went, ugh. He watched it. That's her. It's only her now, forever. Fuck off, dude. That's disgusting. Again, you say disgusting, I say romantic. You fucking like cuties. So. I mean, I'm just saying. No, I didn't. <laughs> I haven't watched it. Did you watch it? I did watch it. Yeah, that we know why. Yeah, and it's fucking pedo trash. That's on record. Boom. Keep yeah, it in there. That's what you said when the camera wasn't running. But it's not in right now. So keep, I know. Keep this part in there. I know. I will for sure. Okay. I'll keep this conversation. No, I'll cut, I mean cut this part out. But the part where I said it's pedo trash, keep that in there. Okay, I will. Don't don't do that. Just what? keep it in there, and then the I cut will. all this. I will. All right, well, that's fine. Then just cut all that. You can cut all that out. Yeah, I'll be gone. <sighs> I don't know, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I agree with you, but you have to also remember this actually all came from the mind of a Mormon woman. I know, because they're so sexually repressed. Yeah. That she was like, oh, man, like I fantasize about well, okay, and it makes sense in like a religious aspect because like you're groomed. Yes. There's a lot of grooming that happens. There's a lot of grooming in that church. I listen. I don't want to get into religion and all that shit because that, no, that, that we don't offends do a lot that. of people. But we don't want to do that. Yeah, well, I'm not shitting on the religion. No, I'm just saying it influences the way that you would come up with a story. Yeah. So it's part of your life, and the, yeah. yeah. Uh, how did you? Okay, so we get all that. We get her screaming about Nessie and all that. Yeah. The child starts growing up, and then they're like, fuck, Alice has a vision. The Volturi are going to come here, and they're going to battle us in a big field. Big ice field. Big yeah. ice field. Keep the budget low. They're going to battle us out there. We got to go round up a bunch of... Witnesses. Witnesses. And not just witnesses. We got to round up a bunch of, like, magical characters. Well, yeah, because they're all going to be vampires. Here is my fucking problem. Okay. I kind of liked all the all the people. Okay. I kind of liked that there was like all these like weirdos out there in the world sure. with these crazy powers. What I didn't like mm -hmm. was that we saved it for the last 30 minutes of the final movie. Yeah. I agree. Like fuck you. The, the, that's what this series should have been about. Oh, I agree. That's what I'm saying. It was like they waited until the very very last like two chapters of a book. To be like, oh, to decide shit. to open up the world. Yeah, to, to be like, oh shit, I have a story. Fuck. Yeah. But I already said this is the last one. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I liked Rami Malik, the Avatar. Yeah. I liked uh, the, the jungle ladies were kind of shit. Like you, you make people see things, mm. or whatever. It's kind of like. All right. I mean, that's kind of a cool power, though. It's kind of cool, but the way they displayed it was like a little boring. Sure. I was like, I would like to see some like fucked up shit. Yeah, but they don't have the budget for that. I know. <laughs> Like some crazy like Doctor Strange kind sure. of, you know, that would be cool. Uh, we got, we got Alistair, which we don't know what, what was his power. Never saw. Never saw. Never saw anything. He literally just stood around sneering at people and. That's the dude from the river, right? I never watched the river, mm. so I, don't, I wouldn't know that. Uh, but yeah, I liked I liked these freaks. They were they were cool. Yeah, I mean it was interesting to see, like obviously you know Carlisle had been around for a long time. He'd traveled the world. He knew all these different people in all these different places. So it was kind of cool to finally get to see other vampires and what they could do. There you go. He was in the river. He was in the river. Um, yeah, and then we got Shocker Girl. 
Yeah. That was tight. Yeah, it was okay. That was all right. How do you feel about uh, Bella's power? The shield thing? Yeah. It, it kind of feels like um, she, Stephanie Meyer was like, well, we got to give Bella a power, something that she can use. And then it was like, well, she's been shielding, she's able to shield her mind. Yeah. So let's just extend that out. She can shield anything. Yeah. Kind of lazy. It's very lazy. Yeah. It's like a reverse, you know what it is? It's not even a reverse Professor Xavier. It's literally just his helmet. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's just it's like, uh, like I'm a, I'm a helmet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I just, but I can also make you see a montage of like all of the previous movies that we made together. That's another one of my powers. I can show you clips from the other movies that we've been in. I mean, that's a pretty um, devastatingly bad power for these movies. I mean, that sucks. If you were in good movies together, that might have been okay. Yeah. But not these movies. No. Nobody needed to see a whole montage of that. And then no one needed the pre-Avengers, Avengers-esque send-off for all these lame-ass characters that no one cared about at the end of this fucking movie. Oh, yeah. Starting with, like, the last characters we just yeah. got introduced to. Like, People that were like, I don't even remember him in the movie. There's, like, that hippie couple that I'm like, why do they keep They just pop- stood in the background. They just stood in the background. Like, why do they keep popping up? And so did Alistair, really. He didn't do shit. He just, he like, didn't do anything. He, like, stood in a tree once. They were literally there to just be witnesses. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're avoiding the big topic here, which is, of course, the big final battle. Okay. And yeah. I'm avoiding it because I hate it and I'm angry and I just feel myself losing control right now, so. He's getting angry, guys. Um, I, it sucks and I, I, I absolutely hate it. It's the thing that like, I remember from all these movies because this is yeah. the one that I had I'd seen before. I know. This is although, the one you described to me. Although I don't remember the first half of it. Yeah. I only remember that final battle and like the ending. Yeah. And I, oh, God. It was all just a dream. Yeah, well, not a dream. Sure. It was a potential future. It was a vision. Yeah. It was yeah. literally what was going to happen. She, if he Nicolas didn't. Cage, nexted this movie. <laughs> yes, he did. But that's what he had to see. Yeah. He had to know that he personally would die. Yeah. And therefore, don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth your life. And isn't that really what all of them need to understand? Yeah. Going after people is not always worth your life, so why even do it? I mean, because they're bored, right? I yeah, I mean, they were I mean, just, like, sitting around, that's only thing reading through texts, and... Yeah. I'm like, what is your life, man? Why are you doing this? It's trash. That's why the one... And you're immortal. It's forever. Yeah, that's why the one guy, which I did actually like this little tidbit. Yeah, I liked when it. he was like, when he, when he just goes, finally, and he just, like, lets them kill him. Yeah, that I'm was like, a, that was pretty baller. Yeah, not I was bad. Like, That's cool. Not bad. I get it because now I get the whole. I get that dynamic. The three of them. Yeah. He's just miserable. He's like, why do we? How could you not be? Yeah, because he's like listening to Michael Sheen. He's just like, dude. First of all, like, what's with the accent? Yeah. Second of all, like, chill the fuck out, bro. Like, we're we're vamps. Yeah. We're gonna live forever. Let's just like smoke some weed and watch some movies. What the fuck are we doing sitting in these three chairs, looking at nothing all day? Yeah, I don't understand. Just sitting in a room. What are you doing? Just waiting for shit to come up for them to actually have to deal with. I'm like truly baffled. Like, what are, what, what are you doing all day? They don't sleep either, so I have to imagine that's, that's just them all the time sitting there. Yeah. No TV, no radio, no video games. No. No, they're not playing sports. They're not, like, playing basketball or baseball like in the first movie. No, of course. Did you see how they're dressed? Yeah, they're not doing shit. What a mi- like what a miserable. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. They're just fucking miserable because they're like, look at the Collins over here. Like, they're actually enjoying life. They're enjoying life. They're like creating new species. It's like insane. Yeah, they're fucking nonstop. I mean, oh, like, yeah. if the Collins are good at anything, it's it's fucking pounding ass. Well, that's because all the Collins are extremely attractive. Yeah, because they made the whole the comment about like Emmett and and. To- a decade or something. Whatever, yeah. Like, like for fuck for an to, entire decade. Yeah. <laughs> sure, why not? Again, you and don't get tired, you don't sleep. Yeah, and then she's like, I think I think we're better, basically, or I think we're hornier. And it's like, 
okay. And then, like, the next scene is, like, them being like, oh, well, now we got to go off to this battle and stuff. Way to go. Honeymoon's over. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, if I were Edward, I'd be pissed. I'm like, are you serious? Like, I waited 100 years for this. This is why I didn't want to fucking turn you. Because I knew the minute I turned and I gave you immortality, all of a sudden, you're going to shut the box on me. I would have been like, I had sex with her. I'm going to go have sex with somebody else now. Yeah, I told her. Yeah. I told her she was going to die. What else is there to say about this? Nothing. It's just a chore. It was a chore to get through this. <laughs> it's a fucking chore. It started off like even, it started off bad, and then it just, it literally did get worse. Like, uh, I watched five. <laughs> yeah, I watched two in one day. Yeah. Ugh. Fuck. I'm glad, but, I'm glad to be done with it, but yeah, I... you know, it's done, so... But now, at the same time, yeah. like, I've now seen these five movies. They're going to always be in my brain somewhere. Yeah. That's okay. I have a lot of movies up there. I know, but these are these are in there now. Yeah, they're in there. All five of them. But I got so many, I'll never think about these again. Um, do you want to know before we give our final score here oh, yeah. what the best films of 2012 not best highest grossing what the best films were the same year that Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2 came out 2012 here are the top 10 best performing monetarily films okay or I could just say highest grossing films of 2012 yeah, like I said. number 10 Men in Black Trace blech <laughs> I need you to give either a blech or a, or a yippee for each okay. one. The Hunger Games. Yippee! Number eight, Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted. I never saw it. Number seven, The Amazing Spider-Man. Hmm. That doesn't get either one. That gets a meh. Okay. Number six, The Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2. Blech. Number five, Ice Age Continental Drift. Never saw it. Number four, The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. That's the first one. Blech. It's bad, dude. It's a meh. It's so The bad. first one's a fucking meh. No, they're all bleh. They're all bleh. Number three, The Dark Knight Rises. Yippee! Number two, Skyfall. Yippee! Number one, The Avengers. <gasps> Yippee! <laughs> Give that a bleh. <laughs> That's not a is, bleh. The Avengers, the Avengers is, a, is fine. No! It's fine. I hate oh my The God, Avengers. Dude. <laughs> then you're going to love that I picked the MCU as my next. Fuck you. If I had to watch those shit movies. We're watching all of them. I hate the Avengers. No, I hate not. the Marvel movies. Stop. Come at me, you little YouTube Fucking bitches. Jesus, dude. What <laughs> the fuck? We gotta get views. No, we don't. I have not, to take a hard to that way. I have to take a hard stance on something in this list to end this episode, and I'm gonna say I hate the Avengers and Skyfall is the worst James Bond movie ever made. I'm a fan. <laughs> Boom, and Pink Floyd sucks. Jesus. All right. Jeff, okay. on a scale of zero to five stars, classic rating system, The Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn Part 2 in 2012, zero to five stars, what do you give it and why? I am going to give this a... Remember, this is the ending I know to the that. entire saga. The whole thing. The whole thing. I'm going to give this a half star. Worse than part one? No, but I'm giving it, I'm de I'm taking it down a whole star yeah. for being a terrible ending. Yeah. So technically I would have said a star and a half. Same as part one, mm -hmm. but it gets a half star. Jeff, great minds think alike. Mm. It is getting another half star from me. It was absolutely terrible. The worst way to end a saga. I wouldn't even call it a saga. Not Why a saga. are these even made? These books are shit. Yep. All of this should be trashed. And God have mercy on everyone's souls who are involved. Who's involved. I agree with you. I agree. Okay. Yeah. Twilight Saga. Blech. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, next week, we will be finishing... The anime monster monster yes. uh part two so the second back half of uh of that entire series episode what yes. 37 to 75 yeah i think it's 37 to 75 38 to 75 38 to 75 yeah yeah uh so be sure to subscribe to our channel and uh and ring that little notification bell so you can get alerted whenever monster drops yes for sure you're definitely gonna want to watch it yeah and uh, if you've never seen the Twilight Saga and we just saved you from watching the saga, then you're welcome. 
You're very welcome. And now you owe us, so come watch the next video. Yeah. See you next week. Bye.